that was a unique experience. <laughs> Going on Netflix people out there and Black Mirror lovers, we got a new Black Mirror experience for you guys today. And I'm saying experience, I'm not going to say it's a TV movie or a TV series, even though that's what Netflix is proposing, but it is a unique experience in itself, and that is Black Mirror's Bandersnatch. Now, Bandersnatch is... If you've ever played a Telltale video game or some of the videos on YouTube where it's a choose-your-own-adventure, you get to make decisions in here and make the characters on the screen do them. Sounds a little bit confusing, but that's why I said this is more of an experience than a necessarily TV movie or TV show. What I'll say for this video, though, is that there might be some spoilers towards the end of the video or kind of sprinkled out through. Not full-on spoilers, because where I'm going to leave those spoilers to do is have a great discussion down below in the comments. I want to hear what decisions you guys made, what endings you guys got, because there's like five or six, and I want to talk with you guys down below. So if you are kind of just on the edge, like, should I watch this, should I not? I will say it is worth a trying. It's, it's worth a, just a fun experience at best, but... If you're kind of like, hey, I don't know, I just kind of want to hear other people's experiences, that's kind of what I'm going to go going about. I'm going to rate my experience. I'm going to say why I enjoyed this so much and why Netflix should keep doing this more. And maybe it's just because I'm a huge video game fanatic and I love like the Telltale game series and all those choose your own adventures where you have to choose like, oh, if I do this, someone could die like Until Dawn or even Heavy Rain or a Detroit Human. It's, it's such a unique thing and I love when video games and just companies in general take little risks like this and Netflix is known to be doing this. Or again, any further guys, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and also hitting up sandwich on films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens and check out some more movie news and even some movie reviews but guys talk about my experience with bandersnatch now a lot of the great things the cinematography the acting in here is all amazing of the young star from dunkirk in here who's doing a great job this is actually some of the first acting i've ever seen the guy actually do outside of dunkirk will poulter is in here and he's always phenomenal in everything he does he has one of the most interesting characters i think i've ever seen him play so that kind of adds to the experience too but the thing about bandersnatch is yes it is a choose your own style but from down to right to the smallest of details there's one sequence in the beginning where it asks what cereal you want to eat and those two sequences that one question will really formulate where the rest of your story is going to go. And you don't think it is, but it does formulate it. And I'm actually going to throw up this picture right here. And this picture is actually kind of a cheat sheet for the whole game in general. If you guys want to screenshot that or if you want to go over to my Twitter and save the whole picture, I did retweet that and pin it there so you guys can go check it out there. But again, this is a unique experience at best. And that's one of the things I can say. Even though I didn't particularly like the two endings that I got because I went through and played through it twice, I had a unique experience and a fun experience at that playing this. Because the world is so fleshed out and because the the characters are really unique to itself and just the parallels that it's making because you're playing as a programmer who's making a game and one of your the, his own play your own adventures but the sinister stuff that goes behind the making and where he's getting the story from this book and how it's based on the book it leads parallels to his character but also to yourself as you're playing it and you kind of start to feel a little bit insane with the character and you feel like you're controlling him and he might be feeling the same way i love the parallels that they're making and there's one cinematography shot that david slade got in this and i have to think this was intentional is the ending i got is he is watching tv and i'm not going to say necessarily where he's at or what he's doing but he's watching tv and it's a review of the game and as he's sitting there watching it, you can see him in the background watching it too. But on my home, I had a, one light on and it was facing on me. And as I was watching it, the light had me looking. You could see my reflection on my own TV. Maybe that's just a, a weird coincidence for me. But every single time he was looking at the TV and you could see him in the background, you could see me as well. And I have to think that was such a clever shot to do with the lighting and the cinematography. Or maybe it's just coincidence. I don't know. All little parallels throughout this experience that do add to that depth and bring you and make you feel more atmospheric and into it. And even again, it makes you go back to that and it adds to the experience of Black Mirror. If you're a fan of Black Mirror, this is kind of like right up your alley. Black Mirror itself for me, I've really enjoyed some of the episodes. Some of the episodes are a little lackluster for me, but overall it's been one of those experiences where it's really like, wow. It kind of adds to that experience of, wow. And I love that Netflix is letting these passionate creators make their own unique things. You look at the Ballad of Buster Scruggs, a film that I, I enjoyed. I thought it was it was good, but it wasn't everything I wanted it to be. But that was a very experimental thing from the Coen brothers. You look at Roma, 
from Alfonso Cuaron, a very experimental, passionate project. And now we look at Black Mirror Bandersnatch. This is, again, one of those experimental, passionate projects from the creators, which could have easily gone downhill, but it didn't. And Netflix gave them the decision. They gave them the power to make what they wanted. It's a dark, sinister journey that you know, my story that I got, I was just jaw dropped sometimes and really flabbergasted by some of the things that happened. And some of the choices that I'd make really gave me chills and goosebumps, and that's one of the things that Black Mirror's always done, is making you feel very uneasy, and this kind of adds to it. It makes it more uneasy because you're making the decisions. It's like that most of the choices that you get to make are some of the choices where you're watching a character and you're like, oh, don't do that, but I can make the decision to make you not do that. Picks wise though, I will say there is one little nitpick I will have with this whole experience, and it is, and I get it, I get it, sometimes some of the play your own games do do this, that some of the choices you make aren't the best ones, and it just kicks you back to this kind of end game screen in a sense, and it'll be like, do you want to go back or just watch the credits? And it'll just end the story there, and I wish I get it as an experimental first time project live action wise for Netflix to do this in Black Mirror. I get it, they're probably just testing the waters and seeing what they can do. Maybe the next one, if they do do another one, which I really hope they do, they add and kind of change this up. But that was the one thing I was like, oh, well, it kind of sucks. Like, now I have to play back through, and I don't really have a choice or free will in this. And may But maybe that was a coincidence, because in a sense, your character doesn't have free will, and you're controlling him. So maybe it's kind of trying to say, well, someone's controlling you as well. I don't know. I, maybe I'm thinking too much into it, but this is definitely a series I want to analyze. This is definitely a series I want to sit down with my friends later today and have them play through it and see what they get, not even making any decision, not showing them the cheat sheet, but just having fun with them and having an entertaining time as well. It's definitely, again, a unique experience. It's something that you have to pay attention to because some of the decisions you have to make really are life or death in this thing and really will end the show and there's one particular sequence where I messed up completely and it was something way early on that they told me like a couple of sequences of numbers and I messed it up and I should have remembered it and I just couldn't remember the damn numbers and I it ended my story. But again, unique experience at best. I can't really give a A minus, a B to this. I just have to say, go give it a try. Even if you're not a Black Mirror fan, if you're uncomfortable with uneasy situations, maybe this won't be the best for you. But if you're a video game fanatic, if you're someone who's a fan of Black Mirror or someone who's just looking for something unique to do with some friends, family tonight, well, maybe not the little ones because this definitely is not for little ones. It is worth a shot at best. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Again, let me know, comment down below what your ending was, what, some, what were some of the most uneasy decisions that you had to make and let's talk about it down there thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time stay classy